All right, next up we have our second order half-life. So again, we're gonna start off with our integrated rate law. So for this one, here is the equation. And then we're gonna say we're talking about half-life. So we're gonna say T is equal to T one half and that our concentration at this time T one half is equal to one half of the original concentration. So we're gonna take this, plug it right into there. And then we're gonna take this and plug it into A at time T. So then we'll get one half A at time T is equal to K T one half plus one over the initial concentration of A. <clears throat> and then we're gonna do some kind of more math. Remember one over one half is just gonna be equal to two. And so then we can say this is two over a, whoops, this should be a not, not a at time t, equals to k t one half plus a, or one over a naught, subtract one over a naught from both sides. So then we get two over a naught minus one over a naught is equal to k t one half, um, and then we can take these numerators and subtract them out from one another. Think about kind of four divided by five minus one over five is equal to three over five, right? So you can just subtract the numerators if your denominators are the same, in which in this case they are. So then what we get here is one over a naught is equal to k t one half. And then we wanna isolate t one half. So we're gonna divide both sides by k. And so we get T one half is one over K of A naught. And now when we're at this equation, we see that our concent or that our half-life is indeed dependent on the concentration. So we can so each half-life will not be the same uh, amount of time. And we also see that it's inversely proportional, right? This one hat or this A naught is on the bottom. And so think about it as a number, as A naught gets smaller and smaller and smaller, your T one half actually uh, gets smaller and smaller and smaller as well. Or no, it gets longer and longer and longer, my bad. <laughs> uh, think about kind of one fifth versus one third right, as the bottom number got smaller, the actual overall number got bigger, right? One third is bigger than one fifth. And so what we'll say here is that T one half is inversely proportional to the original concentration of A. So what that means is that when you have a higher concentration, we have a shorter half-life. And so each half-life is not going to be the same amount of time. So you can see that in this plot right here, second order reaction. So we can see our first half-life is shorter than our second half-life, which is shorter than our third half-life. So the smaller and smaller the concentration goes, the slower and slower the reaction is 